Hi, in this lesson we're going to give you a side-by-side -side comparison between Windows 11 and Windows 10 uh, in case you're kind of wondering how they look side-by-side -side, and you can kind of see the differences a little better if you're only running uh, Windows 10, for example. All right, so right here we have our Windows 11 desktop. So you can see we have our taskbar here, icons, you know, the typical background. You could have a picture there and so on. And then with Windows 10, kind of got the same thing here. The taskbar is a little different. We have your start button on the left, but you have your same desktop icons. So if you click on start on the Windows 10 computer, you'll see you have this Windows 10 start menu. And many people didn't like this. It was a kind of a combination between uh, Windows 8 and Windows 7. So they kind of mixed them together because the Windows 8 um, start menu was awful and the Windows 7 was uh, really nice. A lot of people liked it. But a lot of people have trouble finding what they're looking for on this list here because it doesn't seem to show everything. And then these are kind of useless to some degree, unless, you know, you tweak them. You can unpin them, move them around, resize them, and so on. And then you have your power options here. You have your settings, your pictures, your documents. You could just kind of a quick access right there. Or else on Windows 11, you click on Start. And you have a search box up here, and you have your apps all over here. And then you also have your power options down here on the uh, start menu. And then you have your log off options right here. So if you want to sign out or lock the computer or switch users, you could do so from here. And as I mentioned in the prior video, you can't do anything with the Windows taskbar when it comes to moving it around. You know, you could click and drag, but nothing happens. And when you right click on it, you only have taskbar settings and task manager and the taskbar settings just will take you into the settings for the taskbar itself which we'll be getting into in another video whereas in windows 10 you could drag the taskbar wherever you like and that way when you click on start it comes down from the top here or if you have it on the right it comes off to the side here like that and when you right click on it you have a lot more options you know, for certain toolbars that you could add to it. Search options if you want to hide it or show it. Show your news and interests, which is kind of like the widgets for Windows 11. Cortana, which uh, used to be in Windows um, 11, but they got rid of it for some reason. I think it's because they're just trying to implement their new AI infrastructure, so they don't need Cortana for that because the AI is going to take it over. Windows Inc. Workspace button. Then you could open Task Manager and get to the taskbar settings here too, and then lock the taskbar if you don't want to be able to move it. And then for the show the desktop, you'll notice you have this over here. So let's say we have this open, and this open. And I want to see the desktop real quick. You could just do that. And the same thing applies in Windows 11. Let's say we have this open. like so. It's just kind of hidden there. You just kind of hover over it and you could show the desktop like that as well. And then for both, the system tray is pretty much identical. You know, show your hidden icons and you have your main ones, which you could kind of pin there, the ones that you use the most. And then you have your clock and date settings. Going over Windows 10. You see you got the same thing here too. You could right click on the clock, adjust the date and time. Same thing for Windows 11. Like that. And of course, there's a lot of differences behind the scenes. Uh, Windows 11, they say the performance is better, which seems to be the case, but of course you have to have the right hardware to run it. And then Windows 11 also has some enhanced security features over Windows 10, which is always good these days because, you know, everybody's trying to hack everybody, it seems. So that's always good to have uh, better security features. And one thing you'll notice too, once you start using Windows 11, is they're trying to kind of gear everything towards the Windows apps rather than uh, the traditional Windows tools. Like Control Panel is still in Windows 11, but a lot of the options, they want you to use the Windows settings instead of Control Panel. So as you can see, you can type in Control Panel.
So don't be surprised eventually if these control panel uh, items go away or control panel altogether and then everything's replaced with the uh, Windows 11 uh, settings app instead. And speaking of apps, they both have uh, access to the Microsoft Store. And here's where you can download apps specifically designed for Windows, which are different than programs. We're going to have a lesson on the difference between apps and programs and show you how to install them and uninstall them and that kind of thing. But just be aware that you could do the uh, same thing in Windows 10 and Windows 11. So to summarize, I would say the main differences between Windows 10 and 11, uh, the look, they're kind of giving it the more modern kind of Mac or Apple look, I guess you could say. And then, of course, the performance enhancements and the uh, security enhancements, uh, which you may or may not notice. So once you get used to the Windows 11 interface, you could even tweak it to kind of make it work more like Windows 10. And, you know, once you uh, have everything set, then you'll find that it's pretty easy to use and you won't have any trouble adapting to it.